Thanks for clicking on to the Thursday edition of Vogue News European Outlook. Chilly morning across the northwest, minus 4.8 at Altnahara, uh, but it's a mild one and down across the Bristol area at uh, plus 10 Celsius. Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, actually, a reasonably chilly morning as well behind the frontal system. But um, it's, uh, you know, you think it's cold in parts of the UK. It's a very different story indeed across eastern portions of the continent. We continue to draw our attention to uh, the folks over in Ukraine. We had uh, minimum temperatures uh, below minus 10 this morning and um, the current temperature is actually not reporting the minimums this morning, unfortunately, around Ukraine, but uh, we've got current temperatures and it's offline at the moment, unfortunately, but uh, you know we're talking about daytime temperatures below freezing and uh, through the course of the overnight period, we're going to be talking about uh, temperatures as low as minus 10 tonight here. So this is the forecast off the BBC website. And you can see a very, very cold uh, day indeed. Uh, sunny with a gentle breeze. Minus 1 for the high in Kiev, Minus 10 tonight. And uh, just uh, very, very brutal stuff indeed. We've got uh, a forecast that... Shows a high of uh, plus one tomorrow, but still an overnight minimum, minus seven. Uh, and then we start to moderate things as we go into the weekend uh, across this region. Um, if you notice here, uh, we've got a 10, 41 millibar high to the north over uh, Russia. And what that's doing is it's ushering in bitterly colder off Asia uh, across uh, the nation of Ukraine and hence why we're seeing uh, some very, very cold conditions indeed. Min Mid-winter conditions, really, actually. And uh, you notice any kind of snowfall is down through the Balkan region over Turkey uh, this morning. But a very dry, very cold air mass uh, flooding in from Asia into the eastern portion of Europe underneath this uh, very powerful area of high pressure. Uh, of course, very different story across the British Isles. We've got um, southerly winds coming up. We've got an area of low pressure here just on the um, south Cornish coast. A larger area of low pressure uh, out over the Atlantic. And of course, that has drawn subtropical air northwards. And um, could see actually in North Lincolnshire, probably uh, along the southern shore of uh, the Humber, we may see 16 Celsius this afternoon here. And um, actually, you can see. Uh, the GFS indicating temperatures uh, quite widely, 13 and 14 degrees. But like I say, somewhere, I think, in this region right here, we may see a 16 degrees, uh, perhaps between Leeds and uh, Hull this afternoon with a strong breeze coming in out of the south and, of course, helped by some uh, March sunshine. So uh, I showed you the, the forecast for uh, Kiev, and uh, this is the forecast for London today. Uh, cloudy, 14, my, uh, 9 for a minimum, so a very mild night indeed for the, the, the UK capital. And as we go through the course of the weekend, and then the next week, draw your attention to Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, looking at 16 or 17 degrees, believe it or not. So let's get right to the uh, overall setup here as we go through the course of the weekend. Uh, continue to see that very cold air flooding into southeastern portions of Europe here. The frontal system coming in off the Atlantic. We're going to see winds strengthen through Friday and into the weekend here as we've got a, a 948 millibar low just off uh, Cork. We've got a still very strong uh, area of high pressure over the Baltic states. And very strong winds coming in from a southeasterly direction, I think, as we go through Friday and into the weekend here. And then that system kind of moves through, bringing, uh, you know, squally shower activity uh, across the British Isles. Then it will we'll draw our attention to that system coming in from the southwest. That looks as if that could be a, a severe gale maker, I think, uh, across Ireland and across much of England and Wales. Uh, into the weekend here as you can see here so this is a uh, sunday the 13th at midnight 978 millibar low just off the uh, off the south coast of ireland very heavy rain very strong winds ferry disruption possible um issues with regards to trees and uh, even power so we'll keep our eyes on that there um but uh, 
you notice here that while we've got this uh, kind of windmaker actually over the UK, we've actually lost, um, you know, some of that uh, strength of the high. Uh, still relatively strong, but uh, not as strong. And we don't now have that transport of cold air coming in. So that's why the temperatures rise over uh, Ukraine and uh, adjacent countries during the weekend and into early next week. But as we press, continue to press through, we see that area of low pressure coming uh, lifting northwards. We've got a series of fronts uh, coming into Spain and Portugal here, so pretty nasty conditions actually down around the Iberian Peninsula uh, during the latter half of the weekend and into early next week. And then as we go forward, you can see here that it's a fairly quiet picture across much of Europe uh, to start the, the new work week. We've got another frontal system that's approaching that will uh, try to move into the UK. It will come up against resistance as that area of high pressure currently over the Belarus-Russia border r around that region. That's kind of going to push westwards and it's going to then start to kind of try and push back the Atlantic once again. Not No easterly flow, no cold or nothing significant in, in that sense. But all it's going to do is it's going to try to kind of uh, push back any type of uh, system from the Atlantic. Also quite interesting, you notice here, this is uh, as of next week, we've got an area of high pressure over the UK. That could be quite a chilly high, actually. But notice here that we've got a, a kind of orientation of high pressure extending from uh, from near enough, uh, what, Shetland, all the way back into Russia. Look at the strength area of high pressure that the, the GFS run is, is showing here. And as we go forward, you can see here that it, it strengthens. Now, what is also interesting is the fact that you're starting to see the lines, the isobars, starting to kind of almost um, become unbroken. And we, we There is a possibility that towards the end of next week, we may actually start to see uh, winds kind of blowing in from Eastern Europe here. But it's a long way off. There's a, long, a lot of things to, to uh, go uh, through it, uh, before we get to this stage. But look at... This area of high pressure it's actually going up to a uh, 1058 millibar so it's closing in on a, a 1060 millibar high and unfortunately this would actually bring the return of bitterly colder to uh, to parts of ukraine here or right across ukraine because if you notice here on the 850 chart here this is the current situation at the moment here where we've got the uh, the minus 15 isotherm uh, at 850 millibars, uh, covering much of Ukraine at the moment here, bitterly cold air. If I cycle through the period here, you can see how the cold eases. We've got the weather coming in off the Atlantic. We've got the southerly winds bringing uh, plenty of mild conditions at times, but then we've got interruptions of, of colder air coming in behind frontal systems. That cold eases over Eastern Europe, if you notice here, but as I play through the loop, We've got, you know, we've got a push of very, very milder early next week, Atlantic low pressure out over the Atlantic. And we've got a, a, that area of low pressure over um, and close to Gibraltar. What that's doing is it's picking up very milder from Africa and it's actually going to start to lift that northwards here. And we'll keep our eyes on that because that very milder may even reach the southern half of the British Isles. Hence why the forecast for London is up to 16, 17 degrees middle of next week here. But as I play it through the loop, you can see what happens. We've got that area of high pressure building to close to 10, 60 millibars, and then it's, it's pushing a new wave of very cold air in across Ukraine. And then the cold air actually, seen by the model, is actually trying to push all the way back to the UK. So we've got the return of block and high pressure to the north and we've got another attempt at easterly winds coming in underneath that area of high pressure here so we could actually go from 16 17 degrees to all of a sudden a very cool weekend next weekend so we'll keep our eyes on that but certainly very interesting um weather to speak about at the moment here the 850s are not particularly bitterly cold but it certainly will be a bit of a shock and a, a roller coaster in terms of temperature uh, through the course of the next seven days here so we'll keep our eyes on this as we go forward here so that's it for today hope you enjoy the rest of your thursday i probably won't be back tomorrow 
Um, but I'll I'll certainly be back on Saturday with more. So keep it right here on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for the notifications. Have a great day, Thursday. Bye for now.